Hair loss. Bald spots. Hair loss concealers. First off, a disclaimer. I am not being paid to review any of these items. Um, I don't use, oh wait, I forgot one. Again, disclaimer, I'm not being paid to do this. No one asked me to do this. This is something that I thought would be interesting for you because no one's really done something like this before. So I'm dealing with the more popular brands of what are known as concealers. So what, what do we have? We have Nanogen Thickening Fibers. Couvray or Couver or yeah, I think it's Couvray. We have Topic Spray. We have Topic Fibers and Dermatch. I went down to a, uh, a local supply store. I don't mind telling you where it is. It's called, oh wait. So um, it is a beautiful day outside. I'm not going to do an indoors review because I think that's kind of weak. Um, so I only have a couple of hours. It's here is the back of my scalp styled, but with nothing in it. We're about to do the outdoor test without any concealer, um, just to establish a baseline. Sun setting, so we gotta get going. Now we're going to try the first product. Now this is um, Topic Spray, and I'm kind of interested in this one because I've used Topic Fibers before, but I've never used a spray. But about 20 some odd years ago, I did use a spray called Hair in a Can, or that was its, the way it was referenced. It was um, GLH Good Looking Hair, good, something like that. That's incredible. I've been getting harassing for being bald, and I'm only a young man. No more dates without being called old man, but the babes are back. I can see the tip is getting kind of wet and messy. I got a splotch there too. Right here, that's like a, a spot of this stuff that came flying out. <laughs> okay, and this is with um, the Topic Spray that is now in my scalp. It smells really good. That's one thing I like about it. Here's what we got going on with the back. Now, one thing I'm learning is that you know, my hair is not so much medium brown anymore as it is medium brown with some salt. So it's it's kind of turning to a salt and pepper. In the mirror, I could see that there is a, a tonal difference in the color of the spray versus what my hair is. Now, I did kind of fade that out a little bit so it looks better. Let's go outside. Now I'm going to move over to Dermatch. Uh, there is medium brown again for consistency. Now this is much different because it comes with an applicator. It has to be made damp. And then we take it and we gently rub in circles. Get this on the end there. This might actually be pretty good. But I can tell that it's a lot more time consuming than 
the spray on. This looks much better. I'm surprised. Zap it with a bit of quick hairspray. Using my favorite pie shawl. Pie shawl. So Dermatch is this product. You tell me what you think looks better. You can comment down below. So we've got Couvre. Just to remind you, we are men putting makeup on our heads. Just saying. Okay, scalp concealing lotion, medium brown. Uh, comb dry or damp hair away from the thinning area. Okay, applying. That just looks nasty. All right, creating a mess. My wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> she said my wife came on just to catch me doing this. I'm painting my scalp, honey. All right. So I put a big dab of it on. And there's this, this dark splotch. I kind of like this. So this is undried, still wet, and fresh. Okay. Not bad. So this is using Couvre, Couvre, whatever. So back, slowly looking up. So far, I think I'm seeing a pattern with the foundation type of concealers working better. Let's take to the skies and find out. So this performed well. This is up there with Dermatch. This towel was white when I started. No, it wasn't, just kidding. So it seems like it washes out pretty easy. Not a big deal. Let's go back to topic. Topic fibers. So let's dry the hair. Gotta get the flip in the front. That's important. And there we go. Voila. You can't just like reach back and do it. You have to bend down. Can you see me? Okay, all right. So this is what I do. I take the top and start shaking it along the bottom. But it looks kind of clumpy. So what do we do about it? Why don't we brush it out? I can actually feel the floor slippery. <laughs> Look at my neck. It's kind of poof, poof. Yeah, it's not good. So I need to zap it first. It still isn't quite as uh, strong in the density department. And yes, there is more on the floor. And now I've got a redneck. But now you can see, look at that sink. Um, so here we go. I'm used to putting this on, I'm not an expert, cause like I said, I don't really use it very often. It's the same bottle I've had for five years, but you can see the, the result. decision to put a halt to this comparison because I was starting to see some pretty 
damning evidence against the powders versus the the more makeup style things like Dermatch. Um, here are my thoughts. The fibers like Topic, 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 and Nanogen hair fibers, they're all keratin hair fibers. They got great pictures on them and everything, but they're essentially the same. I, I honestly think that they all come from the same source, probably in China. Um, but then we have uh, Couvre, and then we have Dermatch. I feel the two best products that I tried. Now keep in mind, I was using these for the purpose of covering a large area in the back, the, uh, the crown, which is about the size of the palm of my hand, palm of my hand. Um, and there's a significant amount of hair that I have to go through to get to it. And this little movement means I'm going through hair in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> but I think that the, the fibers or the spray might be better for people that have a lot more loss, uh, diffuse loss, a lot of miniaturization, um, because if you're using something like this, it'll take forever to put on. This will blast your head in 10 seconds flat. I can't stand this for my purpose. These two are the best. And of the two, I can't, I think I like this better because you don't use so much. What I'm not crazy about is the applicator, the little tiny thumbnail size applicator. It takes forever to put on my, on my scalp. This comes with a bigger app, this comes with a bigger applicator. You can go to like a drugstore like, and you can buy those larger applicators so you can just really go to town on large spots like I've got. Um, I think those smaller ones are great for going in behind the hairline, which is a whole nother discussion unto itself. I give Dermatch an A+, I give this an A, and um, the topic fibers, and I'm going to apply this to all the fibers until someone can tell me otherwise, I give a C minus, uh, cause it doesn't work as well as I thought it did. A D minus, it's not quite a total fail because uh, some people might find this useful, but I don't. Stay tuned, lots more videos coming and uh, don't forget to subscribe down below. Please like this video if you felt it was helpful. Um, don't forget to check out the hair transplant mentor partner doctors. I got playlists for each of the doctors that I've been to visit. I would recommend each and every one of them because I would have surgery with them myself. So with that, stay hairy. Peace. Peace.